Fun. So I just want to say, excuse the state of me. I'm literally having a home day and I'm going to be painting fences very soon. But I've been looking at this cupboard for ages. I've wanted to sort it out and I thought, why not just film it? And I know there's a lot of things that are out of date in this cupboard. Um, so I'm going to show you before and I'm going to show you an after of what I do. But basically I want to, um, there's some stuff out at the moment that I kind of want to be able to have space for inside this cupboard. Um, but I just need to like sort it out basically. So I'm going to show you, don't be shocked. Everyone has one of these cupboards and I don't go in this cupboard an awful lot to be honest. Okay, so it's this one here. It doesn't look that big but actually um, is quite wide and goes right to the back. So it's quite long actually. Not the most convenient cupboard ever, as in like it's quite hard to get to a lot of the stuff because it's at the back, but it's great obviously for storage and for bulk buying. But yeah, this is basically my health, healthy sort of um, mixed group of stuff. Yeah, it's not, it's the most unorganized cupboard I have. It does kind of look organized, I suppose. We've got some alcohol at the back there. Um, we don't really drink in this house and we do get given a lot of alcohol. So most of the time that sits at the, the back and I have my, my wine that I like in the fridge. Um, we've got some extra sort of coffee. Um, I need to go through dates of things because I know a lot of this stuff has been sat here for a long time and also it needs a bit of a clean, it's a bit grimy. Uh, this is fruit, nuts and seeds. Again, I use this when I need it, but again, it's not all the time. I've got some pine nuts, some stuff, again, might be out of date. This is quite a handy container to have because it is literally full of like good um, stuff that I do use. I've got my proteins here. Uh, we've got some frames, we've got more protein. Um, we've got some of this, which my friend gave me, which I still haven't tried and I don't know if it's out of date. It's not out of date, actually. It's aloe vera. She gave me that. I've never tried it. Um, wheatgrass, I do use that. Protein pancakes nearly run out. Um, a couple of chia, flaxseed sugar, pasta sugar, normal sugar, extra coconut oil coconut sugar and I've got one of these cupcake stands oh and my favorite tea which is an extra as well anyway you get the gist I'm gonna pull it all out look at the dates and then I'm going to resort it and put it all back in
show you the stuff that I'm getting rid of. Um, lots of stuff was out of date. Obviously, with like dried fruit and nuts, it's okay it's for some point, but a lot of this stuff is 2014, 2015, so really, really out of date. Um, I'm actually going to see if I can give some of this to the birds. Pretty much just a lot of out of date stuff. Um, this is a really old um, silicon. I did that for Violet's maybe second birthday. And yeah, I just haven't used it since. A lot of these I haven't used. Uh, again, a bit manky. Um, uh, this I never use, but it takes up so much space. But I've got other tins, like proper tins. You can't really hold that much in this because of the awkward shape. It is cute though, but I might just take that to charity shop. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much all the stuff I'm getting rid of, which is out of date, which is actually quite a lot. You know, considering that took up that much space in the cupboard. Uh, a couple of bottles of wine that were open, half drunk. And then I'll show you the after now. So uh, yeah, I've pretty much just downsized everything. Um, put all my fruits and nuts in here still. Um, and it's just, you know, I can actually see exactly what there is and use them, obviously. I've got my proteins here, protein pancakes, protein. I've got protein there. I've got another pack of the figgy pops. They're still in date. Um, a couple of the chias and flax seeds, just easy just to grab. Um, I've got basically backup stuff. So we've got um, sugars, like you saw earlier, coconut oil. I've got that AC berry nectar. I'm going to try that at some point. Uh, it's not out of date, it's got two years left on it. Some rice pudding and then a little cake, cupcake stand, which is just, an, again, an awkward shape. Don't really know where to put it, but it's fine there. So that shelf is done. And then this one, again, it still pretty much looks the same. It just looks a bit more organized. Got rid of loads of stuff in here that, were, that was out of date. I've just added my coffees, pods in here. I don't need any more, clearly. The bottles still at the back uh, that are, none of them are opened. Um, and then I basically use this basket for all my cutters. Um, not all of my cutters, because clearly we've got a ridiculous amount. But the kids, we've had that box for absolute years, maybe five, six years. And the kids love it. And I do add extras, obviously. So, yeah, this is pretty much a box full of cutters for baking. Um, I've got my PG tips there. And I've got a big cutter at the back. And yeah, I've got my pasta, my spaghetti there and my box of pasta there, which just has loads of like odd pasta shapes in there. And when I get a new bag, I just pop it in there. So um, yeah, that is pretty much how um, each shelf looks. It's a lot more accessible. There's a lot more space in there as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's giving you some inspiration to tackle one of your really crazy, horrible looking cupboards. I do have a couple more that I do need to go over. So let me know if you want to see those and I will see you all soon.